I look super orange. Ooh. Hi guys. So my name's Serena and I'm going to Disney slash Universal in a little under two weeks now. Very excited. There is currently a blizzard outside my window here in Toronto. So Florida sun, even though it rains a lot, the mostly Florida sun and humidity. I never thought I would say humidity will be a good thing, but oh my god, am I going to be very thankful for it as soon as I feel it. I'm just filming a packing video today. I have no idea what the weather is like in Florida in January. Like, I've used or I've looked at the weather and I just really can't gauge it because it might rain on top of that weather. It could be hot. The range is just too much. So I think I'm going to be dressing in a lot of layers which might not make for the cutest outfits, which is upsetting, but we're gonna make it work. I feel like I'm overpacking. I'm only going for six full days and then two travel days, okay. I'm just looking at the pile of stuff. I can, this is good. So, I've already packed my bras and underwear and socks because no one needs to see that. Only bringing three bras, a black one, a nude one, and a nude strapless bra because I'm pretty sure I have some weird shirts in here that need a strapless bra. So let's do bathing suits first. I'm just covered in some clothes right here. So I'm bringing two bathing suits. I don't know if I will need them. Uh, my boyfriend, I'm going with him and he doesn't know how to swim. So we're not going to either of the water parks at Disney or Volcano Bay at Universal. But we're staying at Pop Century and I think they have a pool, if not more than one. I know they have at least one, but they could have a few more. So I'll probably want to swim there. So bring two, just in case. Take some cute photos in them, worst case scenario. I have no idea if I'm using this suitcase correctly. I bought it at Winners for $79.99. And as I went to pack, I realized, I don't know if you can see it, but like the bottom half opens. But it's it's not padded, like it's just the hard shell of the suit. I don't know. It looks weird, but I'm going to throw stuff in there because it looks like that's how I'm going to save some space. So I also have this Forever 21 bathing suit from when they were still open in Canada. Just some, ooh, some high-waisted bottoms, little top with removable straps. I haven't even taken the tag off because I bought it in the dead of fall when I wasn't swimming. $25.90 originally apparently. Did not pay that price for it. I'm really bad at packing. Pajama wise, I have a bunch laid out. I had two pairs of shorts, long pants, a long sleeve, and a t-shirt, but I think that's excessive. So I'm just gonna bring a t-shirt, these shorts, and then long pants because, I don't know, it might get cold. There's one, two, God, I suck at packing. Nothing is gonna look nice and neat. And there we go. This is where it gets bad. I have, I have too many clothes. I need to remember how long I'm going for. I have this straightener next to me. I may as well pop my hair straightener in here as well. This is a nightmare. I'm gonna have no room for souvenirs. Pray for me. So for tops, I'm really trying to only bring tops that I know I'm going to wear with a few alternates depending on the weather. So first things first, I have my trusty Gryffindor sweater. Can you see it? There's the patch right there. Got this for Hot Topic for a Halloween costume. I'm pretty sure it was like 60 bucks, but it's really soft. I've worn it since I was Hermione for Halloween. So, I don't know, it's worth it. I'm gonna wear it to one of the Wizarding World parks. And yeah, I'm excited. I should, no, I'm not gonna pack my Gryffindor scarf. I know it's winter, but I feel like Florida doesn't really have scarf weather. Gonna bring this Forever 21 top. I don't think I'll wear it. I obviously like it, but I have a feeling it's gonna be too cold, not freezing Toronto cold, but I don't know, even in Florida I don't know if the winter will call for a little crop tank top, but just in case. Next is 
another sort of backup, I have this cheetah bodysuit. It's one of like my favorite items of clothing. I love to wear it over turtlenecks and stuff. But I digress. I have some cheetah pants I'm bringing for Animal Kingdom. But again, in case it's too uh, hot for that, I'm going to bring this and just wear it with some jeans so I can stay on theme with the park. This is my accidental Princess Jasmine Disney bound. Yeah, we'll call it that. It's actually from Zara Kids. Fun fact and life hack. I'm like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, and I fit into Zara Kids really well. This is a size 13, 14. That's either the biggest size or the second biggest size Zara Kids does. I don't know if they go up to size 16. But, I don't know, their kid sizing is sort of weird. I tried on three rompers when I was there. I only picked up this one. One just looked bad because that's the problem. The clothes might fit you, but the shape is meant to look cute on younger people. So it just made me look like a child. And the other jumpsuit was too big. It was the same size as this one. So... Really weird, but definitely go there. It's so much cheaper. It's reduced tax. It fits a lot of adults I know, which is shocking because most kids' clothes are so small. It just really comes down to sometimes the shape, even if it fits you, it's not going to look good. Oh, and also this doesn't have a zipper on it, so I have to like sort of get it over my hips and my butt because they don't design kids' clothes with um, people with curves in mind because most kids are just sticks. So that's a little difficult. Just take some hopping on the floor to get into the pants, but it's really cute. Next are the aforementioned cheetah pants. They're just... I'm, I'm not going to unravel them. They're just um, loose little flowy cheetah pants. They're really comfortable. I'm a fan. I'm just going to pack the rest of the pants right now. I have black jeans from Uniqlo. They're, I don't know what they're called, but they're the sort of legging track panty material jeans. The guy ones are much nicer, like they have a drost, a drosting? The guys ones have a drawstring waist and as well as real pockets because, you know, girls never have real front pockets, but they're really comfortable. They feel like they sort of feel like wearing leggings, they're a little bit more restricting, but they're just the softest pair of jeans you will ever find. I wear them to work a lot of the time, and lifesavers. Shove that in there. Next, I just have some Zara Mom jeans. These are the... They must be the medium wash. Yeah, there's no way they're the dark wash, but some of my faves. Then, I have the same Zara jeans in black. I love their mom jeans a lot. They make me look like a self-explanatory, a mom in the 90s. Don't do the best things for your body, but it's also not bad. Oh my god, I feel like I'm running out of space. This is, I don't think I am, but it looks like I am and it's stressing me out. Okay. I just have, okay, so, so Urban Outfitter shirt, I, I think. I'll wear it with the cheetah pants. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else packed to go with the cheetah pants, so these will be the ones. The ones? The one? Yeah? I need to get some sleep. This one I plan on wearing under the jumpsuit and or probably to Star Wars land, hoping to do like a little Princess Leia Disney bound, just space buns and a white shirt. I know that's lazy, but Whatever. Wow, another black Urban Outfitters top. Is this the second or third I fit in there? I think it's the second. I might have a third one. Anyways, this is super cute. I just got it. The tag's still on it. It's literally been in my possession for like 48 hours. Just really cute. It's like off the shoulder. I don't know. It came in the mail. And I wasn't planning on bringing it to Disney. But it's really cute. I'm also bringing this... I don't know, what are these called? These peasanty shirts that are really popular. Um, another Forever 21 item. It was like $3. I got it in their closing sale. Those closing sales were wild. I 
would stop by the one the Eden Center because um, I had to walk through the Eden Center to school every day. And oh my god, it was crazy. There were clothes everywhere, just random stuff on random racks. I went in twice. I could not stomach trying to shop there every other time, but got some cute finds out of it. This is so similar to the other white shirt, but here I am. I think this might be the shirt I'll wear under the jumpsuit. Or I could wear it the day I want to look like Princess Leia. I could swap those around. I'll probably see which white mock neck looks better under the jumpsuit and go from there um, when I'm actually in Florida. Okay. I, I, I think I have a lot of space. We're, we're doing well. What are you? What is this? This is a black tank top, just a really basic cami. I am wearing one right now. Why did I bring this? I think I wore this. Oh, this is an option if it is um, cold enough to wear the Hogwarts cardigan to Universal. I'm going to probably wear this under it. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh. So I don't remember which day I was going to wear this. It's just this Frank and Oak shirt. I'm subscribed to their subscription box. I've only gotten three things from it in the like six months I've been subscribed. But because I had $35 off of a box randomly, I think it was like my October or November box, this shirt ended up being $5. So what a steal. It's really comfy. I'm pretty sure it's eco-conscious. Sounds like it's sponsored, but I'm not. There's so much black in this suitcase. Now, the last main clothing item is this little Bart Simpson shirt. Again, the tag is still on it. I have no excuse. I've had this for way too long. The tag should not still be on it. But, I don't know, it's really cute. I'm obviously going to wear it when I go to the little Springfield area in Universal. I also have a pink Krusty the Clown one that I've worn before and I'm just complaining about how I want color in here and not bringing that one but I don't know because it's winter I feel like this is this one's the vibe we're making waves making progress okay shoe wise I have these my boyfriend and my roommate and I call these my feezies because they look like Yeezys but they were $14 at our dens so they need a bit of a, they're dirty, but not yellowing. They're just sort of off-white gray instead of white. Do I need, do I need to come in? <gasps> Is this another pocket? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. Another side for things. Oh my god, this is this is so exciting. I have these boots. They're from H and M. I bought them because my feet were in pain one day at school because I was wearing boots way higher than these, and I didn't want to pay for an Uber, so instead I paid for boots way more expensive than that Uber to change into. Oh my god, why am I like this? Jackets are my real dilemma because again, I don't know what the weather is going to be like. It's so vague. I was looking at the Florida weather in January online, like past patterns and whatever, and it was saying like a low of 9 degrees and a high of 22. Like, I know it's going to feel warm regardless because I'm going to be coming from like negative 25, but I don't know. I'm going to bring three jackets. <laughs> this is so excessive. Um, I'm going to bring three jackets. I might take one out the day we leave if it's if I think I can brave the cold in one of the denim jackets um, it's, not, it's like a 10 minute walk to Union Station I think I think if I speed walk I can make it there and not totally freeze but for now I'm just gonna pack them in case it is a zillion degrees below zero so I just have this normal medium wash jean jacket I'll probably want to wear that with the black jeans. I have this uh, sort of faded black denim jacket. I can wear this with the black pants or the cheetah pants or the denim pants. Actually, the fit's sort of awkward. It doesn't look great with mom jeans, but 
cross that bridge when I get to it. And then I have my leather jacket. This is the cheapest leather jacket you'll ever find. I've had it since like the 8th or 9th grade. It's, it's going strong. I say leather, it is 110% not real leather. But I don't know, the fit is cute. I'm loyal to this jacket and it is loyal to me. I'm a little worried I'm not going to have room for souvenirs. So I hope my boyfriend packs less than I do. And last but not least, the ears got to come off. Here they are. I got these um, in 2016 when I was at Disneyland in LA. I know I'm going to buy at least one more pair of ears um, on this trip. I, I don't want to buy more than one pair because that's excessive, especially because I don't know the next time I'll be at a Disney park. So I don't need two ears just sitting around. This has already been sitting around for a few years, getting no wear out of it. So I just don't want to be wasting it. There we go. Hopefully those, those don't break. I might, might move that into my carry-on at a later date. Um, yeah, I can't really pack my carry-on or my purse or anything like that. Again, just because I need all of it for the holidays. Probably put the camera and all the camera stuff there. Yeah, the makeup I'm bringing, my computer, my chargers, all of that is gonna have to wait till like the morning of or the day before my flight, which is fine. Um, I feel like this has gotten out of the way and I feel much better about it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much, whoever's watching this, for <laughs> watching me pack and ramble about the amount of black clothes I own. I will be vlogging the whole Disney trip, so if you want to see more, if you want to see a bit of Disney and a bit of Universal, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Thanks, bye! Oh, oh god. Oh my. This is what I didn't think about. That is, this is heavy. <laughs> oh my god. my most attractive angle. Oh no. What is happening? <sighs> okay. For real now. Thanks guys. <laughs>